hey guys welcome back to yet another video now in this video i'm going to show you how to use the tape measure tool to measure stuff create guides and also scale in sketchup so to activate the tape measure tool you can press t on your keyboard and that would activate the tape measure icon or you can click on the tape measure tool in your drawing toolbar so now i'm going to create some guidelines or guide points in sketchup so to create your guidelines you simply need to click on the edge and then drag out a guideline so this is a guideline and if you want to create a guide point you need to click on the edge of your group and that would create a guide point line the main difference is the guidelines are infinite lines like how you have infinite lines in autocad whereas the guide points are simply just a dash line to maybe refer something out so the guide point lines come from the edge points or end points in a group whereas the guidelines come from the edges themselves so i can create multiple guidelines now if you want to create a guideline at a particular distance what you need to do is click on the edge of the group and then you can scroll on top you can maybe press the top arrow key to snap it to the blue axis and then given your value which is going to be 3 feet so i've given a guideline which is 3 feet and now i can create referring these guide points and create something else as well i'm going to press control z now before i show you how to scale stuff in sketchup these guidelines if there are a lot of them it would be annoying to continue modeling in sketchup with all of these on so to switch this off you can simply go to view and switch this off so if you click on guides it turns off all the guides if you go to view and click on guides again it turns them back on if you want to delete them from your sketchup window simply go to edit and click on delete guides that would delete all the guides in your sketchup window so you can do that towards the end once you've done all the modeling now i'm going to show you how to scale in sketchup using the tape measure tool so if i press t on my keyboard you can see that it comes along with a plus dash symbol so if i press control on my keyboard you can see that disappears and it toggles so if i make it disappear it's simply the tape measure tool now with this tool without the plus button i can scale stuff in sketchup so how do you scale stuff now it's super important that you need to know what you want to scale if you want to scale the entire model you can simply use a reference point now let's say for example this is a wall which is at 7 feet 8 inches but maybe in real life it's actually 15 feet and the entire model will scale to this reference measurement which you're going to take so i'm going to click once and then i'm going to click the second time at this point which is 7 feet 8 inches and now i'm going to type in my value without pressing escape or any other key so i'm going to type in 15 feet or 15 apostrophe and press enter so now it would ask you if you want to resize the model note that all the components would get resized as well so click on yes and now you can see that everything is resized so if i want to measure in sketchup i can click once and now without clicking anywhere i'm just going to hover on the second point so now you can see that it's scaled to 15 feet so i'm going to undo that now let's say you want to scale only this group and not the rest of the groups so if you want to scale only this group you need to simply enter the group and now we are inside this group as you can see the bounding box now i'm going to select the whole thing and i'm going to press t again but you can notice that it's got that plus symbol there so i'm going to press control again to deactivate that plus symbol and then simply click once hover to the top to see the measurements it's 4 and 1/2 feet maybe i need a smaller room or a smaller box whatever it is so i'm going to click the second time and then i'm going to type in my value which is going to be 2 feet and then press enter after you're done pressing enter make sure to click yes so that's the active group which is going to get resized to 2 feet So let's check that out. I'm going to go back to the select tool, click outside the group to exit the group and then measure the size. So we can see that it's 2 feet. So that was a quick introduction to the tape measure tool. Once again to reiterate, you can measure stuff by clicking once and simply just hovering on the second point to find out the measurement. You don't need to really click. As soon as you hover on the second point, you can notice the measurement. 
The second is simply creating guidelines and guide points. And finally, the third is scaling stuff in SketchUp. So I hope that helped you out. And we will be using the tape measure tool a lot in our modeling process to check stuff, give reference lines and more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.